Greetings, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Belle. I'm here to offer you an angel card reading. I'm um, creating this video in early October 2016. However, you can watch it at any time and perhaps it's resonating with you in some way at the time you watch it. Um, so that's cool. This is a video that's available for you for inspiration and I hope it generates a lot of your own ideas. Um, that you can journal about, or contemplate, or take a nature walk, whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, okay, so I already drew the cards, I wrote down messages, just to make it a little bit more, um, you know, just to make it go a little more smoothly. Okay, I'm using four different decks of cards, one card from each deck. Um, the card decks that I'm using are... Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. Angel Prayers Oracle by Kyle Gray. Um, Dream Oracle Cards by Kelly Sullivan Walden. And Spirit Messages Oracle by John Holland. So all of them are really different and really great in their own ways. Um, and the interesting thing about today's cards is that they actually kind of go together. Um, messages are pretty uh, much like kind of woven with other messages, so it's really cool. Okay, first card is from the Archangel Tarot, and it's actually the Ace of Michael. So the Ace of Archangel Michael, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> it's reversed for me, which is really funny, just because it's like, usually if you look at a mirror image of yourself, you're used to that, but if you look at the reverse, which is actually what people see, it's actually a little weird. <laughs> okay, um, so you can see the card here, there, this a little better with the sunlight. You can't really see the message. Let me read. So the card itself says, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. That's what's actually on the card. Ace of Michael. So this is the message that I got for this card. This is funny, this will be a little bit of a uh, humorous interlude for the video too, because I try to get the cards straight. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So the message that I wrote down is, don't squash your beautiful new ideas. These new ideas are a form of guidance for your path. Keep going and um, get through the rocky beginnings of your new ideas. And it's true that getting through that rocky stage of beginning a new idea takes a little bit more energy because it's like you're getting over the inertia of being in one place for a while. But that's okay. You just need to keep going. Um, so don't squash your beautiful new ideas. Keep going with them. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Cannot get this on the screen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to crack up over this. Um, and then in the, in the case of communicating with others, have a certain innocence. Like, don't jump to conclusions. Actually have the best expectations and assume the best whenever you're communicating with other people. It's going to be kind of difficult in this day and age. Like, you send a text or you send an email to someone, and then it's like, you're like, are they ever going to get this? Or what is their um, reaction? Because you're, you're missing a little bit of the... Um, actual expression unless you pick up the phone or something so just always assume the best let everything be um, good and be, have a sense of innocence in this way um, okay so that was Archangel Michael the Ace of Michael <laughs> this is just cracking me up with the um, trying to get this in the right view that's okay I'll keep going okay and then the next two cards really go together, which was interesting because I did draw these randomly. I'm trying to use the synchronicity of the universe, but it is random, random synchronicity. I guess it does go together. Um, synchronicity could be said like we're creating meaning from the randomness, but which way, in which direction? Is it just us creating the meaning, or is it, depending on your belief system, is something sending you a certain message? Like, who knows, right? <laughs> No one knows. Um, we can argue about it, but no one really knows. 
And okay, so this card is next is from the Angel Prayers Oracle. And this is a really pretty card. It's about honoring your feelings. Let's go to that. Honor your feelings. Archangel Hanael. It's a pretty card. It's like a lotus. Some like blue, blue green. Excuse me, blue green color. The message on this card is Thank you, Archangel Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And when I tuned in, the message I got from this card is like earlier I said, don't squash your beautiful and new ideas. And here I'm saying, don't squash your feelings either. <laughs> Let yourself be expressive, um, especially through like journaling or whatever you need to do. Let yourself express all your feelings and emotions. Don't deny your feelings. Don't try to suppress your feelings. But uh, at the same time, there's a balance because you want to express yourself in a healthy way. Do not take out your feelings on others. Like No one else deserves to hear your angst. Uh, so journal, take a walk outdoors. If you need to discuss the ideas, you can have a discussion if it's the right time, but um, don't take out your feelings on others. They don't deserve to hear all your, your blues about whatever, whatever. So um, something I like to do, actually also, is I like to do a weird visualization meditation where I just imagine like a monster, an ogre, or something that personifies my feelings and for some reason that helps me deal with it it's just like because you can do whatever you want to in a visualization you can visualize a vampire and then chop off the vampire's head like whatever you want to within your visualization um, and it's not going to always be the best thing that works but occasionally if I'm in like kind of a I'm a little bit in a mellow mood but at the same time I have a little bit of angst the visualization with a weird sense of it will work and then you might even want to journal after that too about what you found out or whether it transforms some of your feelings and emotions or not so I thought this was interesting and even more interesting about this card about honoring your feelings is the next card which also says I do this randomly this card says express your true feelings excuse me It's, it's, so it says color at the top, this is from the Dreams Oracle, and then at the bottom it says express your true feelings. I drew these randomly, both these cards came up, that's pretty incredible. So the message for this card that I wrote down is, be yourself, get comfortable, get comfortable being who you really are. This is a message for me and you, because um, I've spent my life walking on eggshells, I'm not going to do that too much anymore. Just be yourself, take a sigh of relief. Be yourself. Be who you really are and, and be comfortable with who you really are. You deserve to feel really good as your true self, as your authentic self, as your genuine self. It's not about being authentic for the sake of it. It's about literally feeling good, being who you are and being weird, um, you know, in the way that's right for you. So I thought that was really odd and awesome that these two cards came up with that. Um, expressing your true feelings and honoring your feelings. That's pretty incredible. And then the last card from Spirit Messages by John Holland actually kind of ties into the first card, which is kind of incredible. Um, so it's relationships. Relationships. And it was kind of a long message there. It's, it's the idea that relationships can be a mirror image of your life. Like how you're treating other people can be a mirror for how you're treating yourself and how you're reacting or responding to situations and people around you can be similar to how you might be treating yourself. And then also, be aware that a relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. And I don't think this is always the only way to look at relationships, but it's one way of looking at them. So what I wrote down is kind of a simple message. Just honor and respect yourself and honor and respect others. Kind of simplifies <laughs> the whole mirroring and relationships thing. And it goes back, obviously, to the message from Ace of Michael. Um, be innocent when you're communicating with people. Um, always expect the best and always assume the best. If you don't hear from someone, assume that there's a really good reason. 
um, assume that it's just not the right time for you guys to have that chat or whatever. Um, so be innocent uh, in that case. And then honor and respect yourself and others. I'm going to work on that even more because sometimes I can have like a little bit of negative, um, negative ideas about stuff, right? Which becomes a bad habit. So, if you work on honoring and respecting yourself and others, I will work on it too. That sounds great. So, anyway, I'm not going to do a recap of the cards because I think I showed them all. And we even had a humorous interlude where the cards were going this way and that. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's angel card reading. I hope the, message reson the messages resonated with you. And if they didn't, I hope you got this inverse message where you realized what you really wanted to tell yourself about something important. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.